Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the mode. The, the mode is the last measure of central tendency I will be talking about. It's the most uh, frequently occurring value in a data set. We often want to use the mode when the median and mean don't make sense. For example, when we have categorical data. How, how would you take the, the mean of uh, variables in the bag. I did, how do you add up categories of things and divide by the number of things you added up? You don't. That would be not not a reasonable thing to do. So we, we use the mode when we have a categorical data or discrete data depending on what fact we're looking at. Okay, so to find the mode, you'd literally just count up the, the number of times each thing occurs. So here we have a series of numbers, but these numbers are not actual continuous numbers, they're two sizes. So when you have things that represent categories, what you really want to do is take the mode of it rather than a mean or a median. Because what is an average two size of six point two? I don't I don't know what that means and I don't know how helpful that is. Actually I don't know, maybe that is helpful. It depends on what you're doing. I mean it's maybe an example that we gave colors rather than two sizes. Anyway, it doesn't it doesn't matter. So you Basically, you count the number of times each thing appears, and what appears the most is the mode. Okay, so this, this one, is the two size of eight, appears four times, so the mode is eight. If you have multiple modes, then then it can it can be two modes. So five appears twice in this data set, and seven appears twice in this data set, and they're both the mode. So I, I promise not to talk about our programming, and I'm about to lie to you. I mean, I'm making a liar of myself. Uh, but an interesting thing is, R does not have a built-in mode function. It has mean and median, and you can do whatever you want with that. But if you want the mode of a distribution, you have to create the function yourself. There's a lot of complexity in deciding how to calculate that mode. Do you take just the first mode? Do you take all modes? Like in this example you have two modes. If the data is continuous, how do you categorize that data to allow yourself to calculate the frequencies of those categories and ultimately get a mode? So oftentimes you have to use the table function and work the data in such a way that you get a, a mode out of it that is reasonable. Because you, because you won't get a mode by default because it doesn't have a mode function. Because modes are actually significantly more complex in how you want to think about the data. Okay, so why the most important? Well, if you have categorical data, maybe not too nice, but like, like colored marbles in the bag. You can't take the mean and median of them. You can take the mean and median of this. This is actually probably a bad example, but maybe you ought not to, maybe you ought to. That's kind of ambiguous, but so. Let's pretend there's a green, blue, red. You can't take the mean and median. You have to use the mode. The mode is also less sensitive to outliers than even the mean and the median. So if you have a significantly skewed data set, the mode actually might best represent the data. But the mode is the least preferred measure central tendency in continuous data. I start with the mean, go to the median, and 
if, if neither one of those make good sense to use the mode so the limitations there may not be a, a mode but especially if your data is continuous and it goes out to like two decimal points what is the the probability that those will really repeat it may or may not um yeah, just like I said, when the data is continuous, it may not make sense to use it. But when you have categorical data and the mean and median are inappropriate, the mode is your best method of for tendency. You can count up the number of times each thing occurs, and the thing that occurs the most is the mode. Or if there's multiple things that occur at equal frequencies, like say that's a, a 4 instead of a 3, the mode is just those two numbers, eight and nine. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.